Hey everybody, hope you're wonderful. I hope you're wonderful, wonderful, and in good mental health. You know who's not in good mental health? Well, most people nowadays, Pete Davidson. I don't know what in the Nexium type shit is going on, but what did he do recently? He had Kim's name branded on him. Yeah, he branded her name on his chest, he said, because he did not want to be able to remove it. He wanted it to be on his body like a scar. I'm sure he's going to be scarred. Remember when he put the tattoo on his neck that he got with Ariana Grande? They got matching ones. Then when they broke up three months later, what did he do? He had to have that neck tattoo changed to say, cursed. Yeah, I would say so. You know, he likes tattoos a lot, he says, because it's a way that helps him from self-harming himself because he is bipolar and he has depression. So he says a way of him expressing himself without damaging and hurting his body is tattoos, which he's now decided he's going to have removed, minus that tattoo of, well, the branding of Kim. He's a brand now, you guys. Maybe a new corpse corporation. So mental health, you guys, is so important. Finding ways to cope, always important. Branding your body and tattooing it, be careful. Another thing he's doing now is he is having most of the tattoos removed. He doesn't want them anymore. So what's gonna happen when Kim doesn't want him anymore? Hmm. One of his tattoos was from his father because his father actually was killed during 9-11. 9-11, the World Trade. Yes, his dad was a firefighter. So when his father passed away, he had a tattoo on his arm. It said 8418, which was his badge number. Which is interesting, it's two digits off from my agent ID, or shall we say my old agent ID. Yeah, that's what we'll say, my old agent ID. So anyways, mental health, important. Kim Kardashian, why do you keep dating people with mental health? I understand mania can be fun for some because people are um, apt to act outside of their self and act with grandiose actions and living. What happens when that mania wears off Mm -hmm. and they crash and burn? Yes, tattoos are burning too. I wonder who's going to be there. Uh. Whole different subject, Burning Man just came to mind. Burning Man is fucked up. People go to that every year thinking it's fun. No, people kill themselves there. People off themselves off in rituals there. Remember that one guy, he was very healthy, yet for some reason out of the blue, he ran and ran directly into the fire and killed himself? There's been several of those. Like the guy who mysteriously died right outside Burning Man in his car from asphyxiation? Mm Mm-hmm. Witchcraft and sorcery. People go to events thinking that they're just watching um, fun shit and participating in parties. No, you're partaking in satanic rituals and you don't even know it. I've done videos on Burning Man. Look it up. Now, I know that's a separate subject than Kim and Pete's fucked up Nexium-ish branding situation. But hey, what do I know? I'm just one person with an opinion. Another thing I just couldn't help but bring up. Do you know how old Pete Davidson was when 9-11 happened? Seven. He was seven years old. I was 21. Kim's just a few years younger than me. He was seven. I know they say age ain't nothing but a number, but I hope it's not an IQ either. (laughs) 